What I've heard the problem with the Boeing 787 is that uh, there were batteries that caught fire, and I understand that they have uh, basically grounded most of, the, most of those jets. Most of the batteries that we put into devices, they've gone through a number of uh, very stringent tests to try and uh, ensure that for that application they're going to be safe. In this particular case with the uh, 787s, if it was indeed leakage of uh, a fluid, um, a battery, it's a sealed device. And so everything that you need is inside, including some chemicals that uh, many of them are flammable. If you were to try and ignite them outside the container, they ignite very easily, just like gasoline does. I mean, you can ignite gasoline, you can uh, ignite a number of different fuels. Uh, this series of chemicals, however, uh, in the device, as long as it's away from uh, oxygen or some kind of oxidant and away from an ignition source, it's, it's very safe. If you overcharge a battery, the chemicals inside can often change from liquid to gas. That gas creates additional pressure in the battery. Again, if those, if those seals are not able to withstand that pressure, then something has to give. And once it gives, then all of that, you know, all of that stuff that's inside is then exposed to air from the outside. And if there's an ignition source around, then you could generate a fire. I guess an answer to a question about what we can do to make things uh, better, safer, uh, I would say better materials within the battery, you know, that are maybe less flammable. And then the container, the, the architecture that we, that we use for the battery will have a very significant influence on how, how safely the chemistry can be used. We found ways to, to use gasoline safely in, uh, in passenger vehicles and other kinds of vehicles. Uh, we will certainly find a way to, to use uh, batteries uh, very safely.